What's up, everyone? It's Tim, and recently JB came out to California from Nashville. We got some time to hang out. Steve and I went up there, and we even got to record a couple episodes of the podcast where we were actually in the same room for once. It's amazing. I know we can make it sound like we're in the same room, but this time it was for real. So here's the footage. Let's roll. <laughs> What's up? So JB is in Anaheim for a show, which isn't too far away from here. And Steve and I are going to head up there and go see him, spend the day with him. And the tripod will finally be in the same city. And we are going to, for the first time, record an episode of the podcast. Maybe two, if there's time. Together in the same room. Super excited. So going to go pick up Steve. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Morning. We got some cool artwork here. Splashes. In Anaheim, waiting for Tim and Steve to show up. Gonna go out and get some brawl. That's right, it's a word. Brawl, look it up. It's B roll, but. Shut up. There's a bunch of cheerleaders and shit down there doing some sort of something or other. It's too bright. The hell are these guys? We're gonna go see JB today. Is that done? Yes. What's up, man? Yes. Wow. The tripod is reunited. <laughs> reunited. I no longer have to stand on one California. leg. Yeah. I have two other legs. And now Steve and I don't have to balance. One that's rapidly losing weight and a Chinese <laughs> one. Yeah. We're the multi-ethnic tripod. We're the yeah. bi-ethnic tripod. What's multi? Isn't bi multi? I suppose. Yeah, it's more than one. Yes, and I'm which a hun is, I'm a hundred air. Which is <laughs> exactly. All right, what are we doing today? We're gonna go maybe to this cock shop. It's a local spot around here called Starbucks. Okay. Oh, the little mom and pop place yeah. down the right. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Then I was also thinking, man, maybe because you're uh, you guys are obviously in here. We're gonna go to Knott's Berry Farm. Okay. Oh, Anaheim's known for that. Yeah, Anaheim's known for that. Okay, that's the one biggest thing. Okay. Maybe we'll go have lunch at uh, Medieval Times. Maybe. Maybe if there's oh, enough time. We want to give a shout out to our sponsor, The Green Knight. Like so wait. Challenges. They don't, have, they don't have forks at Medieval Times, but they have Pepsi? Uh, Pepsi was invented way back in, in Castle Times. Yeah, know. it was the Count of Pepsi, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the tripod is back together! Yeah. Yeah. It's really orange in here. It's very orange. It's very orange everywhere. Oh, this this footage is going to look just like Blair Witch. Birds of Paradise. We're trying but, to find Tim's car. Let's bring our steps in. Hopefully we can find my car, otherwise it'll be like, dude, where's my car, the sequel? There she is, Optima Prime. We're in Anaheim, we're in Tin's car, 
Optima Prime. And we're trying to find food. Oh, it's so good to see the sun! Sun! All right, we have locked in on said pho restaurant and uh, our acquired target and in, are engaging. Bruce Lee quote of the day. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. <laughs> Howdy folks, Cal, Cal, Long Beach Cal Memorial. Have you ever thought about buying a Ford? Buying a Ford? <laughs> Hmm, Ford F-150 is on sale. Twelve ninety nine off the retail price. Okay, come on down, go see Kale. Go see Kale, 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 go see Kale. Yeah, Ford. <laughs> Greatest movie ever made, go. Big Trouble in Little China. Goonies. Interesting. So Tim, were you talking about sweating? <laughs> yeah, I was. When I was really fat, I used to sweat all the time. Like eating, like getting up off the couch, getting out of bed. I mean, I would, I would go I would, Mount Kilimanjaro. I would, I would walk, <laughs> I would, I would walk into a, I would walk into a room and people would be like, "Did you climb 14 flights of stairs?" I'm like, "No, I, there was like, like three steps up to the landing. I, I don't know. There, was, there might have been a wheelchair ramp." All right, so we're at the uh, Anaheim Packing District. Packing Ready? Packing. Let's go. Boom! Success. We get some brawl. So, we're driving through Anaheim. What does this make you uh, think of, Tim? It reminds me of a few years back. I, I ran my second half marathon at, at over 400 pounds. Why, I, why the fuck I would decide to do that? I have no fucking dedication. But you're just running through suburbia. You start in the park and they have all these characters, but it's six in the fucking morning. You're about to run 13 miles. Like, dude, I'm not entertained by Mickey Mouse at six in the morning when I'm about to run 13 miles. But then you run, you just run through the city. And like the city is not, any, it's not pretty. There's nothing to look at. And then about mile 10, you run through Angel Stadium. And that's actually kind of cool. They put you on the Jumbotron. Jumbo-sized Tim on the fucking Jumbotron. And then you, you end up back at the park. But it was funny, because the first one I ran, there was no like no time limit. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I was, I was probably the last person to finish. This one, they had a time limit. So if you were falling behind a certain pace, there was these like black vans, these like ominous black van figures that were just like waiting to scoop up people that were too fucking slow. So the whole time, I was just, I, I was just trying to outrun the vans. Uh, they kind of reminded me of those what are those fucking Grim Reaper things from Harry Potter that like scoop you up if you if you do something bad or if you go outside the fucking castle limits or whatever? Anyways, that's my story about my half marathon in Anaheim, California. Thanks, Anaheim. Boom, so there's a KFC convention going on. I wonder how much chicken they have. Like seriously, chicken everywhere, I'm telling you.
Ah, sobre o Homem, sei isso.